It was a rainy night as Lado and Dazen rode in the car. Mommy and Daddy are driving down to Grandpa Raj's house for chili dinner. Lado's excited to see Grandpa Raj and Linda and Uncle Raji. They get to the house and come in through the pelting rain. And it's still a little while until dinner. So Grandpa Raj brings everybody back to see the new fish. He's got new fish in his pond. And the koi are so beautiful and they're getting bigger all the time. And Grandpa Raj tells everybody how he gets up every morning and goes down and gets in the hot tub and stretches out and gets nice and hot and then goes into the cold pond. And he says it's so good. He just loves it. And then dinner is ready. They go into the dining room. Linda has set up a nice table that looks real nice with two candles burning. And they sit down and have the most delicious chili. Yum! With garlic bread and a salad. And good fresh water. And they all eat and eat and get full. And then Grandpa Raj says, hey, do you want to go on a really cool adventure? Come into the green room. Come into the green room. And at first, Leto is just a little bit afraid by the tone of Grandpa's voice. What does he mean, the green room? Well, Grandpa Raj leads everybody into his studio green room. And as you may have guessed, it's all green. And he sits everybody down in various seats and some up on pillows on the floor. And he turns the lights way down. And he says, in this room, anything can happen. Whatever you dream, whatever you think, anything can happen. And so everybody sits down and then Grandpa Raj says, okay, now just picture a, a mountain stream and picture yourself walking up a beautiful mountain path on a really nice, warm, sunny day. And you get up to this mountain stream that's just below a little waterfall. And you sit down to rest. Oh, it's been a long hike. And you can drink water right out of the stream. It's so delicious. And you sit there, and then you picture the numbers 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and then you drift off for a little nap. Hear the sound of bees buzzing off in the distance and the gentle frolicking of the waterfall. And you hear Grandpa Raj's voice saying, Leto and Dazen, 
are taking a trip in Grandpa's underwater flying machine. And so Leto's really excited and they go down to Lake Washington down in Kenmore and Grandpa Raj takes them to this little dock and there floating in the water is the coolest boat he's ever seen. It's all glass except for a, a frame of aluminum and it's all it's like a rocket looking thing only with two rockets on the side and then a, a bigger rocket type shape where the passengers go and Grandpa Raj pushes a button on his phone and the top of the, the rocket boat eases up it opens up all three of them get in and then the top comes down and Leto hears these little where the top seals shut Grandpa Raj says okay now we have to test all the lights so he switches on all these switches and lights inside the cabin light up and lights outside the boat light up and he says okay that's all good now motors evidently there are several different motors on this craft for incredible maneuverability and he tests all the motors they're all good okay let's test the seal and then Leto hears this and the, the boat lowers down into the water and Grandpa says do you hear any alarms or see any blinking lights Leto says no I don't Grandpa says we're sealed we're, we're ready to go and Leto is looking around and there they are looking at the bottom of Lake Washington and there's these all these uh, big strands of kelp of uh, fresh water underwater grass and there's some fish over there and so they start going along and Leto's thinking, wow, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And then Grandpa Raj says, oh yeah, look at this. And he pushes it into a higher gear and man, that thing takes off. Leto can't believe how fast they're going. And Grandpa Raj says, yeah, I better slow her down in the lake here. We don't want to make any waves or cause any disturbance. So then they get out, to, they go out to Lake Union, they go through the Mont Lake Cut, and then they go through the locks. But they don't have to wait for the locks because Grandpa Raj has a special, special pass, and he gets to go right through and get over to the salt water. Then there they are out in Elliott Bay, and Grandpa Raj cruises out into the bay and then he says, watch this. And he puts up the periscope. They're still way down underwater, but this periscope uh, has the ability to go a long way up because it's a flexible uh, fiber optic periscope. And then they see on the big screen that pops down in front of them, there's the city of Seattle. Wow, they're way underwater, but they can see the city of Seattle just perfectly. And the, 
he looks around in the periscope and they they see the whole area they look at a 360 degree view of the the Seattle area and surroundings from Lake Union and then Grampus Raj says okay let's go out to sea now Leto is filled with a little bit of he's a little bit afraid because he's, th he's thinking wow we're going to go out into the ocean that's kind of scary and Grandpa Raj kind of senses what Leto's thinking and he says hey, <laughs> don't worry about a thing this boat cost 18 million dollars and it is perfect and then they bring the periscope down and the, the TV monitor goes up to the ceiling and then whoa, it takes off really fast and they go out and they go way out into past the sound, the Puget Sound and get out into the deep waters that head out to the ocean and they get out there and Leto says, Grandpa, how fast can this go? And Grandpa Raj says, well, we've never really taken it up to its top speed, so we don't really know. It's been tested to be able to go 800 miles an hour underwater, but I've never had it near that fast. And so Leto says, well, I'd like to see what it's like to go really fast underwater. But, Grandpa, wouldn't that be dangerous? Wouldn't you, if you're going so fast, might you run into something like a whale or, or a submarine or, or a, maybe some big rock formation or something? Grandpa Raj says, good question, Lado. That's why we have obstacle avoidance. We have different motors all over the craft that allow you to go as fast as you want and it will detect any object, no matter how big or small, uh, quite a distance away, far enough away so that you can miss it. It'll automatically steer you away from anything you might run into. So all the whales, and sharks and dolphins, all the big fish, the tuna, the sturgeons, everything is safe from this boat. And not only that, it doesn't pollute in any way because it uses anti-gravity to propel itself around. So later said, well, how does anti-gravity work? Grandpa Raj says, well, you know, the guitar amplifier, what that does is, you know, when you play your guitar without an amplifier, it's really quiet, right? But you plug into an amplifier and all of a sudden it gets really loud. Well, that's what this craft does with gravity. It uses a triangulation method of the Earth's gravity, the Moon's gravity, and the Sun's gravity. And it amplifies that gravity. And when you triangulate the push and pull from the anti-gravity device between the Sun, Moon, and Earth, it gives you the power to, to move effortlessly with great, great power uh, anywhere. And so we just set up uh, in the chart here where we want to go, and we can go there really, really fast. Lado says, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So by this time, we're way, way deep under the water. And Grandpa Raj says, did you know that 
the deeper you go underwater, the greater the pressure there is? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, and it's amazing because the pressure is so great that if this craft wasn't built very well, it would just be crushed because you're underneath all that water and all that water is pushing down. So we're lucky that it's so well made. Grandpa Raj says, so where do you want to go, Leto? Let's go to Hawaii, okay. And Grandpa Raj clicks this one lever forward and then clicks this other le lever forward and they just go, Man, it just feels so cool to be going so fast. And it's really fun because they're looking up at the water, uh, the, the top of the water, way, way, way up there. And they can see that it's, it's uh, sunny up there. And a beautiful, beautiful color of blue-green water. So beautiful. They see a couple of fish but they just go by really, really fast, and Leto's thinking you wish they were going slower so they could see the fish. And he says, Grandpa, can't we just slow? No, 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 no. We're going to get to Hawaii, and then you are going to see tons of fish. So it didn't take that long, and pretty soon Grandpa's slowing down, slowing down, and then we start to see the rocks on the ocean floor come up uh, rays and and then the uh, the rocket boat comes up higher in the water higher in the water and they put the periscope up and they drop the TV monitor and there before them is Hawaii, beautiful, beautiful uh, rock, big rocks uh, in front of them. And there's a little village there. And Kahakaloa is where they've come to because Raj has a friend there, Bruce. And he's a great artist, great sculptor. So they... Uh, they're looking and looking and, and uh, so it's one thing looking at what they see through the periscope but Leto's going look grandpa look and there's all these fish off to the left these this big school of beautiful shiny blue and yellow uh, fish and it's just so beautiful and then now Dason is a little older and he's just able to talk and he's he's saying yeah but look over there on the right look at all those orange fish and there's just fish all over the place and it's so much fun and then Grandpa Raj calls Bruce hey Bruce are you accepting visitors right now Bruce says yeah come on up I'll show you my new project so they go into the sandy shore that's off to their right and they pull the boat up and they just park it uh, right up on the sand and we all get out and, and then uh, walk up the hill and it's a short walk up to Bruce's place and Bruce has a fantastic house uh, up high on the bluff it was a beautiful view of the bay and there he is Bruce hi Bruce great to see you we go into Bruce's house and he's got really good snacks to to give us and and uh, good drinks of tropical juice and it's so much fun and then he says okay I gotta show you this new sculptor I'm, I'm uh, I've been working on sculpture it's this full-size human body. It's got the face of a beautiful woman. So it's uh, like a, a full-size human lady. And it's just beautiful. And he's carved it out of black rock. 
It's just incredibly smooth and polished. And he's almost done. He says, I just need to finish the face and then I'm done. And so Leto and Dazen are just amazed at how how somebody could carve this out of rock. And so then we show Leto and Dazen all his other sculptures and oh my gosh, this guy, he makes amazing things, so talented. But then uh, Bruce says, you know, in your little rocket boat, you guys should go up to the North Pole. And Leto says, why? Well, because it looks amazing up there. Your, your grandpa took me up there one time before, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful place to go. Leto says, yeah, let's do that. I want to do that. So we end our visit with Bruce and take some snacks with us and go back down to the rocket boat and get in. It seals up and they go underwater. They check all the lights and check all the engines. Everything's good. So then they take off. Now it's getting pretty late in the day, so Grandpa Rod says, "Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see how fast we can go in this thing." Well, we're just cruising along so fast; it just feels amazing, and we get up to 888 miles per hour which is oh, just just incredibly fast even above water in the air but underwater distance in front of them they see something that's getting bigger and bigger and so grandpa quickly slows down the rocket boat and now as they get closer they see that it's a huge chunk of ice underwater and it's just floating out there in the sea and grandpa says that's an iceberg that thing is huge and it's this beautiful beautiful color of aquamarine blue just kind of glowing because the sunlight is hitting it from above so they uh, they go around that and grandpa says look what we can do and he videotapes the iceberg as we go around it and then grandpa says okay now we got to be careful up here because sometimes the rocket boat doesn't detect ice as well as it does other things. I'm not sure why. It might be because it's got a real uh, slippery surface underwater and uh, the curves are just right so that it's kind of invisible almost in a way. As we keep getting closer and closer to the North Pole, it's getting kind of dark down there because of all the ice above us. But the darkness has a beautiful color of blue to it, and it just looks fantastic. So we turn on the lights, and everything under the ice lights up, and it is simply gorgeous. We drop down the TV monitor, and we're looking at where we are on the map from the satellite, and we're getting closer and closer and closer and then there we are we're directly underneath the North Pole so that was really cool and Dazen and Lado get excited about that and, and uh, Grandpa Raj says well we better get back so we're not going very fast we're just kind of cruising along because all the the way that the ice looks underwater in some places the ice goes way down and 
and uh, and it just looks amazing. Like you're in this big cave of beautiful colors of blue. It's just fantastic. And then Leo says, Grandpa, what's that thing over there? And I look up, and there's this shape that's inside the eyes. I said, I don't know. I've never seen anything like that before. So we get up closer to it, and we get right up to it, and there's this big thing in the ice. The ice is like, I don't know, 50 feet thick or something. And this thing is suspended way up inside it. What the heck could that be? This thing is, is big. It's like, it's like the size of about three cars put together. And so I got all kinds of really cool instruments in the, the rocket boat. So I, I analyze what material it's made out of. Well, it's made out of metal. So I'm thinking, is this some old ship that was shipwrecked here? And no, it's not. It's uh, It seems to be kind of a, a pyramidal shaped object. And it's mostly made of metal, but there are some, some of the things that it's made out of, uh, the analyzer doesn't recognize. It doesn't, doesn't know what it's made out of. And that's crazy because his analyzer knows every element on earth and so boom it hits me wow this must be some alien spacecraft that who knows maybe crash landed here long long time ago and uh then this little beep 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 goes off and it's uh lily leto's mom saying, hey, you guys better get back here. And then I realized, whoa, yeah, we better get back. It's pretty late. So we agree that we're going to come back here and bring uh, some uh, other tools so we can get up there and, and, you know, get inside the ice and see what that thing is. So we go down deep under the water there and then I gun it and we head down south and shooting through the water so fast and we get all the way down south of Alaska and off the Canadian coast and then we boom come in to Elliott Bay by Seattle and we go back through the locks and we go back through Lake Union and we get back to Lake Washington and, and go up and we rise up and there we are at the dock where we started from and we get out and then we drive back to, to Linda and Grandpa's house. All of a sudden, everybody in the room, in the green room, is waking up and we're, we're comparing where everybody went and Lily says, well, me and Jared, we went on a vacation to Costa Rica. And we were in the beautiful hot jungle and we were chasing monkeys around and climbing trees and swimming in the ocean. We had so much fun. And Linda says, oh, well, me and, and Debbie and Marty were just uh, up in the mountains on uh, this beautiful hike. Everybody just had so much fun going on their own adventures. And when Leto and Dazen told Mommy and Daddy where they'd been, oh, Mommy and Daddy were just thrilled that they had so much fun going in the rocket boat. And so we all agreed, let's come back again and let's do dinner again and let's all go into the green room and and have another adventure and everybody said yeah that's what we're gonna do and that's the end of the story so this is story number one Beto and uh, I hope you like it Merry Christmas I love you